Hello, um, I'm DJ Fabrizia and today I am extremely excited. I have uh, some new arrival. I just purchased a MacBook M3 uh, Pro 14 inch and uh, I am really excited because as a DJ, um, the M1, it's a fantastic machine, but the problem, as many of you know, was this and I have a lot of music this is one terabyte as well as my MacBook Pro 2015 is one terabyte but it's still running very well it's just full and this one is getting full and I have about a terabyte uh, worth of music in my memory and many of you might have experienced the same issue that you have to have this fantastic hub and um, if you don't have your music on your computer you have to connect your hub to your external hard drive and then connect everything else cdjs and uh, mixer to to your hub and unfortunately this is not working with the m1 because you're going to use one port for the power and one port is basically running out of power because you have all these things connected together so I finally decided to move on and get my M3. So it is a 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU, 18 gigabyte of RAM, and it's got two terabyte of memory storage. So I can keep all my music on my laptop and Let's see. So the the main difference as well uh, from the previous laptops, uh, there was the M1, M2. The M2 improved it. I think they have more uh, USBs and they reintroduced the MagSafe. This little monster here has everything as this one had. So it has all these slots for your SD card. It's got the slot for the HDMI, it's got the finally supposed to have three USB as well and port by itself for the power, the old MagSafe. So I'm very excited. Uh, let's see how it looks like. My main worry is the size and the weight. It feels quite heavy. In comparison to this one that really look like an old uh, MacBook Air in comparison to the old MacBook and it's very light um, unfortunately they don't do anymore the 13 inches for the M3 so I had to select the 14 inches I'm hoping it's not too big uh, so I don't have to change too much my setup uh, and my bags and my covers so, one, two, three, let's go. I ordered it in silver because if it's summer and the laptop is black, it's gonna look very, very dark and heats up. So let's get rid of the cardboard. And here it is. So then there is more, more uh, things to peel off to open. Brand new. One, two. And let's see how this little baby looks like. So far, so good. Then with this one, it should be smoothly come off and it's light. So I think all the extra uh, power and everything else was making it heavy. And honestly, it doesn't really look like much bigger than mine. Let's see. It is slightly heavier because obviously it's a little bigger, it's got more memory, but 
really, do you see much difference? Not yet. So looks looks good so far. And next step. I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna do it properly so I don't damage any paper and everything. So there you go. Probably, I don't know if it's got any power or anything. Oh, Dum. it's already got power. And oof. exciting. I immediately noticed it doesn't have that touch bar. I wonder, uh, I haven't really used it much apart from volume and other things. So let's see how it compares. Um, it looks like they kind of, you can see they maximize the screen uh, all the way to the edges of the um, edge. So really it's not that much bigger. I don't know if you can see everything. Um, here is slight, like half centimeter longer and I don't know if this is the right this is just a comparison on the looks obviously once I try it of course it's gonna be a total different experience so let's see in terms of size I'm gonna put this one below because it's a little bit bigger but I don't think I'm gonna see much difference on the DJ booth really look at that 14 inches really is not that much bigger than a 13 so far. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy a nice cover. It feels, the mine has a cover. It feels a little bit uh, thicker, but there you go. You have your USB-C, your HDMI, your SD card lot, slot, and two amazing other two USB-C ports as well as the MagSafe power. So it's got a extra port from the previous older versions of MacBook. So and obviously let the check. And yes, so um, another thing I'd like to add. I got a really good deal um, because I got it from uh, Klarna and the exciting thing is that through Klarna I managed to get a 12 month finance free and the same laptop would have costed me 300 pounds more if I bought it from Apple store and it took literally two weeks only two weeks to get the laptop because it's built uh, on demand so yeah tomorrow is gonna be a big day when i have to move everything over and see how it works so also the speakers you can see they are exactly the same as the m1 and the main thing i noticed also of course from the power uh, the sound quality of the m computers the m uh, core they have a completely a different it's another level the sounds before were just like eh, very low quality and here you can properly hear your music also when you're preparing you don't need speakers if you're just prepping up your music for your set um let's see what's next in the box you have as i remember from the previous laptop your warranty and everything looks like very neat i'm gonna read the small print some other time and then you have your power so it's uh, wrapped 
into a little paper and this is the normal power and then you have the two meters i assume of the fantastic back to the magsafe another thing i mentioned is that they removed the touch bar and you might wonder also how it looks like in terms of the keyboard now so i'm gonna remove this one that is the one that i use for my software excuse the cats <laughs> and uh, so this is how it looks like so it is uh, um they they made it the keyboard they a little bit like the same size including the touch but yeah they yeah, replace it as it used to be before i think let's see with the comparison with the old laptop um to be honest, I like the fact that there was a little of a bright division between them, even though I'm sure you can, yeah, you can back use the backlight, but it was handy to have that white part. And it probably looks more like the old, old version. So again, removing this. Oh, okay. So they did it all black. So it looks more like this one than the actual M1. And yeah, so that's just an, another thing I wanted to add and show you. Let's do it again. Yeah, I think maybe this touch bar was really only used for um, changing the lights. I, 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 don't, I haven't seen really much use for it. Yeah, apart, you could see the different uh, windows and they kept the uh, touch ID, which I think is great. It's right here and it was here. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I. My laptop, my previous M1 was fantastic. It was just a problem of a matter of connecting so many different things like to one machine. I'm using Serato. I haven't said that at the beginning. Um, Serato uses a lot of uh, power when you are connecting the two CDJs and the mixer. And also you have your music outside your laptop. So yes. Um, I will let you know how it goes once I plug everything in. Thank you so much for watching.